This segment of Del Marva Life is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Alrighty, so take a look around your home. Maybe you have a pool, maybe a trampoline. Perhaps your kids spend a lot of time on that play set that you spent so many hours putting together. But have you ever thought about what all of those fun additions to your home can do to your homeowner's insurance rate? Well, they very well may have a huge impact. And joining us today to explain is State Farm Insurance Agent Tom Prunty of Salisbury. Thanks for joining us, Tom. Thanks for having me. So I think when people add these additions to their home, they want to do it for fun, but they don't realize it's quite a risk as far as insurance is concerned. Oh, absolutely. Everything that you do in the backyard has an impact on you. So, so generally we're talking about things that, that are like a high risk for injuries? Uh, swimming pools, trampolines, swing sets, anything like that. Yeah. So are there certain protective can we be proactive and, and set up safety barriers around them or something to make them better? Absolutely. There's always something you can do. Let's start with play sets. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have them in their backyards. I know I did too. Could they make my homeowner's policy or could they change my homeowner's policy, possibly make it more expensive? Well, whenever you have a play set, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's not pressure, you know, you don't want, avoid pressure treated mm -hmm. wood. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you also want to make sure there's no protruding uh, hardware. Um, a lot of people like to use the the rubber mulch to make sure you have an area to land on right, soft. Right. Um, you know, avoid any tripping. So if you have a, a tripping hazard, remove it. Just get it away. Always a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, what about pools? I mean, I'd love to put a pool in my backyard. Many people have pools here, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with that. But you do want to take the proper steps. So. Right. You know, install the fences uh, or a wall, um, have a gate that is, you know, preferably self-closing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good idea to have an alarm, so if you're in the pool area, you know it. If somebody enters it or even they have alarms to break the surface of the pool and you'll know it. Mm -hmm. Right. Have the proper covers installed, preferably the ones that anchor to the deck, you know. Right. 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 So. One thing I see a lot of, trampolines. Mm. Oh, trampolines. Yeah. Yeah, um, trampolines, uh, a lot of people have them. Um, if you're gonna have a trampoline, you need to first make sure it's covered under your policy. Okay. That, you know, your policy actually covers a claim on a trampoline. Right, check it so just to make sure. Call and ask your insurance agent, am I covered? So probably some good rules that we could put in place as far as using a trampoline? Sure, uh, when you're using a trampoline, you wanna make sure that only one child at a time uses a trampoline. You need to have constant adult supervision. Um, you, no flipping, no somersaults, backflips. Right, right. Um, make sure you have, it's a good idea to install them in the ground mm -hmm. and not to have them above the ground so you don't have that four foot above the ground, you know. Oh, additional fall. Yeah. 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 So, so, and if it's broken? Don't use it, discard it. Chuck it. If it can't be repaired to the same level of quality it was when you bought it, then just don't use it. Uh, you think of any simple steps to cut down your chance of injury on that? On trampoline? Uh, make sure you have proper padding. Yeah. You know, again, if you're going to install it in the ground, uh, you can use the the shock absorbing surfaces around it. I mean, lots of you know, Something common sense. Something land on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we can have these items in our backyard. We just got to make sure we follow rules and we have all the safety features. But it's always common sense and make sure you ask. Yeah. Always call always and ask. ask. There we go. Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for Appreciate having your me. help on this. And for more information from State Farm about your insurance needs, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Still ahead on Delmarva Life, do the routines of everyday life have you stressed out from what you eat to what you see? Learn how to stop the stress. Plus, we share some of your tried and true measures. And a little bit later on, story pirates. Arr. They're coming to Delmarva. We're going to learn more about them and find out how or why local children are so excited to see and hear their stories. But first, the Waterfowl Festival in Easton takes place this weekend, and you're invited. It's going to be fun for the entire family. We have been giving away tickets over the last couple of weeks, and we'd like to congratulate our final winner today, Amanda Christ of Dover in Kent County. Amanda, enjoy the festival. <laughs> 